Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Zane tutorial. Even though this is the first one that's on video, I didn't ask. Anyways, you want to make a power bar, that's why you clicked on this video, or your Supa. Either way, there's one tutorial that I can find of a power bar, and they did it garbage. It's garbage. And I'm not saying that I have the best way to do it, but it's better than his. So, let's get started. First, you're gonna have to go to variables. Make a new variable, and title it whatever you want, blah 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 blah. I am going to title it bar, cause bar. Anyways, make it a number and take it to player persistent, or player lifetime. We can do player lifetime. So now, your bar is bar. It's pretty bar, honestly. And now, you're going to go to this, get your textures made. you're going to want to import all your textures. Let me do that really quickly. Okay, so after you do that, make sure you import it as a GUI component because it's not an item. So you're going to go in here and I know no one's seen this before and I didn't even know it existed until two days ago, but you need an overlay. So an overlay, you're going to name that your bar, whatever you want to call it and add in your images. So you're gonna add in a empty and make sure to add snapped if you want it. It just makes it easier. And then you add empty mid. Empty mid. And empty top. You don't have to do four. I'm just doing four because I want to. And now you're going to do a bottom full. You're going to do a mid full. And you're going to do a mid full again. This is just for mine. Once again, put as many as you have. And then a full top. So now you're like, well, that's only going to show it as full, because full is the only one up there. Well, yes, except for actually no, and you're kind of dumb. I'm kidding. You need to make a procedure. And this is going to be a super simple procedure. We're going to call it energy one. Because you're going to need multiple procedures. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to do a if. Uh, don't mind these extensions and lists and stuff. I have other things that you won't see. And you don't really need to since it's not important. So, go to flow control, do if else, then you're going to do a logic. Uh, yeah, go into logic, and you're going to have your variable, your bar variable. So you're going to go into logic, equals, get a zero out, and you're going to go to your custom variables, and get global bar for event target entity. Now, if it equals zero, it obviously would not do anything. And I just realized that I'm dumb. Uh, okay, so you just need to have an if do. So if it equals zero, then you're gonna have it show as false. Okay, so you're going to go to flow control you're going to go to return and you're going to do the logic return, so the blue one, and set it to false. And now you're going to need another one, put it right here, and set it to true. This will make it so that if your energy, your bar, is at zero, it will return false. Now if you save that, go into bar and go into your pop bar. Now, image display condition, have it as energy one. This means if there's zero energy in it, 
it will not display. It's actually really cool. So now, we need to duplicate this four times, or however many times you have. So energy two, energy three, and energy four. You can name them whatever you want. I'm using this because it's simple and easy to understand. Now you're going to have one or let's say we want 10 to be our power here. If it's 10, then it obviously should not work. But 10 will make it so if it equals 10, we want it to be under 10. So if it's under 10, use this, the under, use that. If it's under 10, then it will not show. Okay. So now we want the next one. We want it to be, let's say, under uh, 20 because that's what we're going for. And then the final one we'll do under 30. Now, you go back here and you go to your second highest one and make it energy 2 or whatever you named it. Go to energy 3 and then go to energy 4. So now, this says, if 0, don't show this. If under 10, don't show this. If under 20, don't show this. If under 30, don't show that. Okay? So now, it means it has to be over 30. So we are going to have a energy system. And now, it's going to do on tick. So we need to make another procedure and call it bar uh, addition, I guess. Bar addition. Now, for this, just save that really quickly, since we're not using it yet. Add a, a time, I guess, time variable. Something along those lines. Make it a number, and make it player lifetime, just like the bar. So, we're going to go to here, and we're going to have it as on player tick. This can be laggy if you do not do it correctly, so do not make big it even warns you, do not make big things. If it's too complex, it will make your game lag. So don't do that. So now, we're going to have another logic. We're going to have equals, get a math, zero out. And we're going to do an if else. So now you're going to get your custom variable for time. And so this is a tick. And 20 ticks is a second. So set that zero to a 20. Now, what you're going to need to do is go to custom variables and set global variable. Get time or whatever else you named it and then get another get and then get some math plus one. So this, what it will do is it'll add it to one. Uh, if you're anywhere experienced at all, you should know this by now, but I'm doing this for the people who don't know what what is so now this will set it to one and then you're going to copy that take these out and put this oh didn't mean to do that set this to zero so this will reset it so every second it will go off once and then reset so it can do it another second instead of doing it 20 times a second it does it one time a second and now we can set, we can duplicate this, or you can get another block out, set bar to bar plus, uh, let's say it'll regenerate five per second, okay? Five per second. But we need an if variable because it'll keep going above the bar's max. So do if else, oh, put this in here in the first one, and you're going to do logic equals 40 or whatever your max is so we will do get bar is equal to 40 then or no 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 get a logic out and do not if it's not equal to 40 and get rid of the else this will make it so that it will regenerate if it's not to 40. So now, with these five or more, depending on how many bar sections you have, these will make your bar work. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the world and cut right back when the world is up and I will show you the bar. Okay, so once you're in your world, you will notice your little bar. What? Oh, sorry. You'll notice your little bar and I just made this little lightning bolt item so that I could show how the bar goes down. So you use it and the bar goes down. And then it raises every two seconds or so because it's going up five. So that is how you make an energy bar in Minecraft. Yeah, so that's how you make an energy bar in Minecraft. And I guess I'll see you later. Peace out.